Right. Well, anyway, folks, what I'm going to be doing the day, you know, concerning that, normally I would be doing a let's go there right now, but what I decided to do is instead, so I don't suppose I've told any of you folks that I'm a bit of a COD fan, or I say Call of Duty fan, because, well, to be honest, Call of Duty isn't what I would say, I'm not fanatical over it, but I play it for, I can't really say competitive, I just play it because I think it's a shooter that, yeah, it's hard to justify Call of Duty without people getting pissy about it, not to say that they're wrong or anything, yeah, because there's some points I can quite frankly understand, and that, uh, but I think, more, I think out of all the Call of Duties, and I think all the Black Ops is one that I really enjoy. I still go back to quite frequently. But yeah, if you're wondering, well, this is Modern Warfare 2, the very first game I got started with. Yeah, I'm a bit of a late comment to the whole Call of Duty series. Although I did try 2 3 for a bit, but they weren't as good. <laughs> I probably got a lot of hate for that, but. Anyway. Yeah, you could say I'm not exactly very. At this, let's just say. Yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, basically what I'm going to be showing is just all what I've accomplished, really. Right. Like, just notes in there Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Dale, and Echo. Yeah. The co op challenges, and by God, try and do anything beyond Charlie is a bitch, needless to say. Look at that. I've got about 12 stars on Alpha, 11 stars on Bravo, 8 stars on Charlie, 7 stars on Della, and only about 3 on fucking Echo. Which, by the way, is a, it's actually a really hard challenge to do. I mean, I've still, I think, out of all of them, I've completed every one of them at least once. But where where is the only one I can't I can't seem to fucking complete? Yeah, I've done those two, but where where is this a fucking best to try and do? Yeah, I think being honest, I would like to challenge and going back to them as hard as it gets, but I'd love to do that. But in recent years, well, uh, Model Two hasn't become as popular. I mean, even though it was, I think of all the Call of Duties, people argue that it's some ways the successor to the best Call of Duty, which was uh, Modern Warfare. And uh, so some people hail this as the best game, and oh man, this comes out a close second. And that. Uh, I mean, if I had to say all the games I play, which is by the way only four, Modern Warfare 3 is probably bottom, then Black Ops 2, then Modern Warfare 2, and then finally Black Ops. And that. Uh, I don't know about the whole new Call of Duty Ghosts and that, but you know, as I say, I am looking forward to it. Hopefully, that it's going to be better than Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, yeah, I'm only a first prestigious and that uh, got max level, and uh, that's that's been the case for the past couple of years. I've never really prestiged, and that uh, it's been brand new challenges, and that uh, some have got around to others. I'm still need to get through it. I think the biggest problem is I've not been playing this very often just because of because of how many hackers there are and that kind of ruins the game for me because unlike in Black Ops where it's just cosmetic stuff and that this they actually do affect the game as a whole and sometimes it's absolutely ridiculous and that but that's for another thing anyway what I'm showing you is just basically the classes that I've been using that sword gunner, knight, soldier, warrior, guardian, paladin. And uh, it's basically, you won't believe it, but uh, as far as classes are concerned, I've never really switched a class. Once I stick with it, or once I've set it up, I stick with it for good. Unless it is horribly bad. Like, what, I think I had a fire class, it was like some machine, machine gun mixture, and uh, I just bad it to of it. And that. Very rare for me, a, a double ratio on that. Yeah. If anyone's played with me, you'll probably know that I'm I'm pissy as hell about kill death ratio. And that. I mean, if you should 
see on black box and that. Anything below a 4 is poor on my part. 4 to me is an average. And uh, I strive for things like 10, 15, 20, those kind of ratios. And uh, cause I'm not fucking strict on myself. I say always improve, never go backwards, never left or right, just go forward. And uh, yeah, I suppose I have to admit, out of all the games that you could say I can, I think Black Ops is probably the biggest victim for that. Although I justify that by saying I do a mixture of sniping and you know camping. And if you do it right, then you can really get a lot of kills. And uh, basically, when you're safe, you go sniping. When you're not, you wait for it to come up. It's just not getting the right balance. Because the last thing you want is someone coming up behind you and killing you while you're sniping. But at the same time, you don't want to be sitting there for like two, three minutes and fuck all. And that while it's walk past by, you can be sniping and enticing them to come to you. And uh, you know. That, that's what I strategy. I mean, I only do bare bones and black ops, doing objective ones only for like pro packs and that, but yeah. To be honest, I think black ops is an easy game in all world, and that makes you see the ratio for us. I find ridiculous. And that. Uh, and yeah, I've been thinking of that. I don't know, but that. Kill Street? Oh no, wait, I just remembered that. Yeah. As far as tactical nukes are concerned, I've only managed to get two. Yep, just two. I'll show you right here. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, just two nukes. And uh, I'll admit, I was one of those who are really tended to go camping way and just camp folk for it, but then I kind of thought to myself, well, if it's. I mean, camping is not easy to do in this game, not at all. It's very challenging actually, and I think putting too much effort to it would just be a waste of time, so I just said, like, fuck it, I'll just get a new slow gem, and well, so far I managed to get at least a couple. <laughs> uh, at least I've still got two new slow gem, at least. And uh, though, funnily enough, in saying that, I might think I managed to rack up as high as a uh, 41 Kill Street, and uh, that was back in a. I can't remember the map, but it was a D Day, I think. Yeah. Oh, that was a. That's probably the highest match I got. It was like 49 kills in one day. Bloody brilliant. And I got 3,800 ferries in the one fucking match. Oh, that. That was something I would have been for a long time. I don't think any match has come even remotely close to that. No, not at all. I mean, Black Ops once well, become pretty close, but nowhere near the ratio. And I think that'll probably be a champion of champions to look at. And yeah, I'm just trying to find you uh, where the hell the the ratio thing is. Yeah, you can tell it's been a while since I've done this, but. Yeah, ratio is 1.52, and uh, I suppose you could say it's rubbish, right? but bear in mind, I, I think the lowest I got was a 0 0.62 or 63, and then that was before you got to like level 5, and I think slowly and gradually I managed to increase that, I think, I can't know how far it took me a long time to get it even to just one. And now then, it's getting really good in there, and that eventually increased up to, all the way up to 1.52. I mean, I said to myself that I want to try and at least get a semi decent ratio. And now I think after a lot of practice, I eventually managed to do just that. And that, uh, but it's, it is quite minor in comparison to, say, my Black Ops ratio, which I'll be getting on to next. And now I'm going to cover Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2. And that just so I can compare the examples and that. <coughs> right, yeah. Just saying, where the fuck am I here? Right. Yeah, when lost race. So I think, at all the Call of Duty's, 
this in modern three, I think the only two that have got positive. Black Ops is something like 0 0.91, and uh, Black Ops 2 is probably even lower than that. And it's funny because uh, it's probably a lot of it because I've been quitting, yeah, race quitting. And, uh, but that's just more to avoid me getting a lot of necessary deaths. Also, I'm just noticing that it's six, six days and 12 hours. I thought I was, I thought I played this for longer. I don't know. Yeah. But look here, right? Look at my fucking accuracy. I mean, I'm not one to use aim balls, but you know. I think being realistic about the whole thing and that, uh, you know. I think. For me, I, I do use Guardian an awful lot. I do, I do. I'm one of those trigger disciplines sort of guys. I don't go. Blazing all open to get killed. You know, I tend to stay still and wait for folk to get in my view, and then I, I just use as few bullets as possible. And that. I suppose that's probably why I'm pretty good at camping when it comes to. I mean, for the most part, long or near, I can do well at need. And uh, I'm not saying I'm invincible. I'm just saying that you know. See, camping assumes that you're in the one position the whole match, but I like to create a little bit of flavour in minds. Yeah, I think particularly warrior, or well not the warrior, soldiers are the best by far. They say for far range, ranger for close, and by, my god, don't listen to anyone who's, who says that the ranger's crap, because it is absolute beast and that. You know, that always annoyed me, and all right? They say that the the model A needs sound was good, but I say fuck that shit. Rangers, where is that? And uh, you shoot both of them, and it's very likely, even from middle range, that you'll get killed. Although I suppose pros would just use one barrel and uh, save that in case of another enemy to come right after them. And uh, that's not your fault really, but you can save a lot of ammo if you do it that way. So you know. Pretty handy to have. And that. Uh, yeah. I think, being honest, and that. Uh, I've been through a lot of shit in Modern Warfare 2 recently regarding the whole hacking sort of thing, you know, that sort of stuff. Oh, it's a bloody nightmare to get through all that shit. But yeah. I'm thinking. Modern Warfare 2 isn't quite as, well, good looking, shall I say, as Black Ops. I know which I'll, well, Bats are just about showing everything here than that. So, yeah, all I can say is that uh, if there was one moment that I highly dislike Modern Warfare 2 first, all I have to say to that is, there's the campaign on Varen. A couple of missions in particular were a fucking bitch to try and do. Particularly the sixth mission and. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that mission with Favela and that, where the mission where sort of spoilers, but uh, the mission where Ghost dies, and uh, I'm trying to mind the uh, what mission that is, and that, uh, but basically that one was a fucking nightmare, and that, uh, you know, if you ever if you've ever played it without killing the folk from behind you, and now uh, you know, like the mansion, and then try to go in where it's like. At the front of you there's a bunch of enemies, and the back of you there's a bunch of enemies, and uh, it's like, you know, you're fucked, and uh, especially when you only got, you're down at two, three hits. Yeah, you'll know what true pain is like when you go <laughs> that. And I think, I don't know, I think saying die a hundred times is better than a statement, and uh, it took me a long time to get that sorted, but I'm persistent, you know, I can't say what though, but ugh, never again. Anyway. I think that'll be it for my Modern Warfare 2 commentary. And uh, next thing, I'll, I'll probably back up next. What's that? I've got a lot more trouble, so I'll play that a hell of a lot more. Uh, see you then, folks.